All right, Thanks, moving on. Chris, what's the next segment we got? What, what do we do? We it, it, it was almost it was almost stale in 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 out over date past due date this week for I think for both of us, but uh, we made it and we are. Fresh from the comic shop. That's right. Fly from the pressing salon. Y'all know and love this segment. You guys share your fresh gets each and every week. Chris, myself, and our special guest co-host, we'll look at that, we'll talk about them, and then we will pick a semi-finalist for our running uh, promotion with Whatnot, um, and you can win some cool slabs. Chris, would you like to announce the cool slab we have going for August? Yes, it is on its way. It'll be in my hands in a couple of days. But for now, just let me say that it is an X-Men 4 9.6 CGC first appearance of Omega Red. Somebody, somebody is going to win that beautiful book. That is right. We're going to pick a semi-finalist tonight with all of these entries that we have. It is on Michelle... To pick that, I know that's 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 a lot. That's a lot. It's a burden. That is a burden. Oh, but yeah. I don't know if I'm ready. We have faith in you. You know your shit. But before we do, why don't we all talk about what Whatnot is, since they sponsor this segment. Uh, Whatnot, guys, it's fantastic and no bullshit. Chris and I would not be uh, behind this product if we didn't believe in it. I'll tell you what Whatnot it is. Whatnot combines a safe buying platform of eBay with a video component of Twitch. Their mission is to bring together collectors and enthusiasts to safely buy sell and connect now here is how to submit and enter you first of all must be signed up to whatnot the link is below in the description and with that sign up you get three dollars off your first purchase uh you must follow comic book canon on whatnot that is right it's as simple as just at comic book canon that's it post a pic of your fresh get on instagram tag us at comic book canon and use the hashtag FFTCS. It's that simple. And you can win a slab, a uh, pretty awesome slab. And this 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 month, I mean, Chris, I was shocked. when you, Chris does a good job of uh, getting these slabs. I was pretty shocked when Chris found this one. So uh, it's a 9.6, but still, this book is hot, and let's hope Omega Red makes his way to the MCU. All right, Michelle, are you ready with three books? I am, yeah. Don't drop it. it, it no, I'm not going to show. I know, I know. I'll okay. Wait. All right. <laughs> no, I'm Here excited. And I just wanted to say, too, that the, the whatnot giveaways you guys have been doing are awesome. And that oh. app is pretty sweet. I've been seeing a lot of people I know from the community pop on there and do sales. It's really fun. Oh, it's great. It, yeah. Like, again, no bullshit. We really do think this is the great product. And it will, in terms of the, you know, collectible market, it's going to overtake eBay, no doubt. You want to see these people and be able to interact as opposed to just typing in a number and. Yeah. That's it. So again, guys, check it out. Sign up. Link is below. Uh, but we're going to get right into it. Oh, by the way, this is this is the criteria. Just for reminding you, Michelle, and you, the audience, presentation in terms of like the composition of the picture, the uh, the kind of uniqueness of the book. Right? It could be a unique book. We had a few from Mark Lenniker that were like from the '40s or something like that. That's a unique book. Uh, and if there's a story behind it, Tommy Boy collections. Won the Department of Truth 9.8, uh, no, Department of Truth number one, 9.8 slab last month because he had a, a, just an amazing story about, <laughs> it sounds crazy, but he graffitied his whole backyard yes. fence with his son. Uh, it was just awesome. So that he, was amazing. It really was. It was beautiful. And by the way, that guy's very creative. He has won again, an entry again, but he's not yes. eligible. Win. We always right. have so many amazing submissions every week. Like I love, I love it. So yeah, I'm ready. Each and every week, people just kind of just raise that bar. And we are just excited. We're just, Chris and I are just here for the ride. But let's just get started here because we got Word Bubble, or sorry, Word Bubble Collect. Mail call, he says, a little of this, a little of that, still waiting on the rest. Some winnings mixed with a couple of purchases from last month. As you guys can see, there's the High Republic. Uh, you got X-Men. I'm not sure which one that is. And I don't know what the other one is. But... Those are some nice pickups. Sorry, guys. It's been a busy week. Usually I research those and look them up, but that is a nice pick. I'm I'm mad because I did not get this pick right here. Psych, uh, Cyclonic Rage. It was sold out of my local comic shop, but this is, uh, as he says, FFTCS and tradition. This is the new Superman series. Uh, it is the son of Kal-El. I was excited to read this, but it was sold out, so I'll have to wait, I think, on that one. We got Marvel Man 616 Comics. 
Uh, finally found nice. my grail. I think he was joking. That's right. Toxic Avengers number one. Toxic Avenger number one. The best three bucks I ever spent. That's a good get right there. It's three bucks. And uh, cool. they are yep. they are um, rebooting this series. I do believe they are rebooting this. So uh, yep. this film. That's a great. That's just classic eighties right there. Uh, next up, we have expensive paper. Look who showed up to join the family. I guess I'll need to find that second print now, maybe the convention edition. Still optimistic for Naomi. I seem to recall another Bendis character that took a minute to heat up. And guys, if you don't know who that character is, that's uh -huh. Miles Morales. Now here's the deal. With Naomi, they're already in production for this CW show. They already, I think they released a teaser or some images. Uh, so that book will definitely get hot. It's been up and down a lot. I, I, I'm pretty sure. The CW books, meh, but I think, I think, Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Ava DuVernay is connected to that series. So she's. Yeah, yeah. There's potential there for sure. She is awesome. All right. You know who's awesome? Peter Peanuts, because I love that name. If you know, you know, he says. Nova issue number three. Just found these at my local comic shop. Finally catching up with the all new, all different Avengers. Yes, I'm that late. I'm pretty sure that's when all of those characters meet for the first time. I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments if I am. A lot of comments to catch up on here, guys. Uh, Please be patient. Comic Toby four two zero with the Terminator. I know it's hard to see, but he's got the the nineties goodness with Thunderstrike. Uh, I believe that's U.S. Agent and War Machine, and I think that's Terminatrix um, right there. As we know, Ra Ravona Renslayer from uh, Loki. May you know she's gonna show up in Ant Man and the Wasp. All right, Michelle. Now's your time to show your first fresh get of the week. What do you got? Okay, so this is fresh from the comic shop, Fly from Terrificon. Ah, <laughs> brilliant. I love that. Okay. Good job. So uh, I did pick up a whole bunch of books at the convention, but I did get a handful, and I brought my favorite three. So what do you guys want uh, first? No, no, this is all Werewolf you. Werewolf or Vampire? Chris, your choice. Vampire. Okay. <laughs> The first one we got here is Adventure into Fear. Mm. Yeah, so the you. first solo uh, Morbius. Yes. Yeah. Oh, really? They got a really oh, great right. deal on it. So oh, that was pretty, That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, that, Thank you. That is a nice pickup. And honestly, the the <laughs> the time. Oh, that, I'm, not, I'm good. <laughs> good. Did not That's mean good. to do that. Sorry. The time it took, like the time and, and care and kind of uh, research you do on these books, it's it's incredible. Again, oh, I don't, thank you. How, wait, how long have you been collecting? Because again, you're like you say you're a new fan. Yeah, dude, it's only since January, man. Uh, Shut up. January twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. So like six, like, seven honestly, months. I, mm -hmm. I, I, it, it's <laughs> it's fair to say your knowledge surpasses mine. I'm not okay. bullshitting. Well, you know, I, I, a lot I, I, a lot of the reason why I love comics is because of the history and the information and the creators and just all of that. So, I mean, I'm looking up this stuff anyway when I when I pick up books and I, you know, I'm opening them and I'm looking through the stories and I'm researching them. So, if I'm going to take the time to do it, I'm going to share it with with people on Instagram cuz you know. Yeah. It's fun. It, 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 it's a joy to see and again, you take the care and time to put all of the descriptions in your uh Instagram posts as well. So, like yeah. somebody who's passionate about uh, this uh, this uh, community and this hobby, and has been since I've been the age of twelve when I really started collecting adamantly. Uh, I have mad respect for you, and I think that's freaking awesome. So that's what I want to say. Thanks. Um, yeah, I, I, I never really expected to get into comics at all, like ever in a million years. But you know, I stumbled upon um, a few, like fourteen issues of the original Volume One Star Wars run that were my dad's. And he, mm. he passed away 21 years ago. Mm. And I didn't know about these books or any of the stuff in these boxes until January. And so, oh, when wow. I, I, yeah, I found an envelope with those books. And th he had a bunch of other cool stuff, you know, like stamps and cards and, you know, just cool collectibles. But, like, the comics, when I found them, it was just something that I, I was like, okay. And long story short... I, I felt like I needed to finish the collection for him. He had written notes on the envelope, like the missing issues and stuff. And I said, yeah, you know what? Yeah. I, I said, you know, I think I'm going to finish this, this collection. 
for him. And uh, I knew nothing about comics, not one thing. I went to my local shop and actually called them one day. Now, I mean, I'm very close with the owners. I go there all the time, but I called them one day like, uh, hey, you know, like, do you, do you guys have Star Wars comics there? Like, I knew nothing. And um, it quickly became so much more than just Star Wars. And it's evolved into a full-blown hobby and an obsession. And this community is like the icing on the cake. And I just, I, I, I don't think I could ever, like, see my life without comics now. That's so, so it's, cool. And it's, it's so, so dope. Cool. Yeah. yeah it's only been it. seven months. Again, if you guys look at her Instagram, which you all... You all should be following at, you know, I'm a mess here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop pressuring me. At Moonlit Comics, you'll see her posts. And maybe if, even if you're just like scrolling, you'd be like, oh, this is, she's like a professional comic book collector. Like the stuff she picks <laughs> up and the things that she knows about, it, it's just absolutely incredible. That's that's an incredible story and very, thank you. And very good. Nice. It definitely touches it. Now I feel bad for kicking you off the show. Oh, you should. <laughs> Not really. You're a Redskins fan. All right. Not every Eagles fan, you. We got, <laughs> we got Williams Vintage. Vin, this is a great story, by the way. This is exactly what, in my opinion, this is exactly what we're talking about, good stories. Uh, been waiting um, been waiting years to see her in the MCU. When I was younger, reading her while she was the leader of the Avengers, my mom was a cop in Detroit. They couldn't wear long hair, so when she was in the academy, she cut it short, and at times when she would take her hat off, her hair would look the same way, just like Monica Rambeau as Captain Marvel. I've been looking for this cover for years. I'm getting, like, honestly, guys, my, my hair is standing up. I've been looking for this cover for years in good condition. Found one a few months back, uh, and CGC graded it at 9.4, which is not bad for a 1989 book and cover. Hi, Mom. Here you go. Uh, that's a perfect example of a fantastic story. Uh as Chris and I have stated before, our first Captain Marvel was Monica Rambeau. Uh, and it's, uh, kudos. That's absolutely awesome. Um, moving on. That's Williams Vintage, by the way. Uh, moving on. Son of comics. We got. He loves showing his Red Hulk. But <laughs> you know what else he likes showing here is the King in Black Spider-Man number one Del Auto variant. That cover is just gorgeous. Oh, absolutely. So. Absolutely gorgeous. Yep. And here we go, E. Marvel. He's got some good. He's got some great books, but this is cool. So the cooling period is uh, is real. I waited a minute to grab this uh, up. If you think this will not be like the first appearance of Harley Quinn in the very near future, you're crazy. Punchline was a mainstay after Joker War. Uh, James Tinian didn't uh, walk in the door with that. He knocked that shit off the hinges. Anyway, I got a first print uh, near mint off eBay for well under market value. It was shipping. It was. $55 total, and I almost feel bad. I'm not going to go as far as saying this will be the next Harley Quinn, but it's still a nice book to have, uh, and I think it will be worth more than $55, especially in great condition. Uh, moving on here, we got Decor Collectibles. Vacation was awesome, and I picked up a pretty good haul and some really good finds, but the really cool part was the packages I had waiting for me when I got home. He had a, quite a few picks. I decided to pick, uh, pick these. This is a nice, diverse collection here, especially that uh, Rogue... Um, Rogue cover on the right there. Really, really good stuff. All right. <clears throat> Neighbor to the North. Just traded for this book today. Helped a friend out with a bunch of Spidey books for this for his run. I remember buying this book off the rack at my local video store, Spinner Rack. Uh, I have a direct already, but just had a just had to have a newsstand copy in honor of my first comic purchase as a kid. It's fresh from the comic shop and now at home with the direct and South African copies. I mean, geez, man. That is, I didn't even know Spawn had that many, uh, those, that many variants. Um, here's another re regular virus here. Sicilian Comics, 1998. Uh, my, a Tuma statue guarding my new high-grade copy of Fantastic 433 just added my PC. That's awesome. Ooh. I mean, shit, if, if, if Namor uh, is coming, uh, Tuma couldn't be far. That's a, that's a good bet right there. So that is a nice book. All right, Chris, what is your first fresh get of the week? All right, let's see. It was it was tough for me, guys. I had a week, and um, yeah, I I didn't even have anything ready. I'm like, what did I get this week? And I didn't even think I got anything, but I did. Uh, I I did get a mid my comic shop order in the mail, which I do my previews orders of all my new books. But then you could piggyback the shipment, so I, I'm usually you know if I in in the hunt for some back issue books or some run fillers. I'll add some on. So I got, there was a couple 
And I got this one, and it's uh, Avengers 134. It continues the new origin of the Vision, where they explain that he was the Golden Age Human Torch android. So, got that one for from uh, mycomicshop.com. It was like 10% off. They do weekly uh, discounts, and it was like 10% off of Marvel A through M or something for that week. So I was like, oh, I'll get a, I'll grab a couple Avengers books. Yeah, man, that is that is absolutely. I mean, you've been killing it with like the Silver Age and Bronze Age and stuff like that. So again, I'm a little bit jealous. Hey, um, people really took to your story, Michelle, and Aww. you know, I know. Yeah, that. thank you guys. Like, shout out to the chat. Sorry, go uh, ahead. We don't normally do this with Fresh from the Comic Shop, but they're asking questions uh, for you. What was oh. your first major pickup um, for your collection since January? Oh, I've had a few, but most recently um, was Tomb of Dracula number one. Oh. That was very exciting. You were that was very exciting. In. Yeah, and for the Star Wars run, in case anybody's wondering, I'm like two, maybe three issues away from completing the run. Um, awesome. But I... Star Wars 42 was the one where I was like, oh, my God. But I got that a, a while back, and it was a big thing because it was the last key I needed. And, you know. But, yeah, Tomb of Dracula 1 was definitely um, – that was a big deal that, for me. God, you are literally – Oh, the Ghost Rider. I have Ghost Rider 1. I have a – I'm, you know, one day I'm going to get Marvel Spotlight 5, but I found 6 through 11 and – yeah, like Star Somebody Wars, else. Ghost Rider, Moon Knight. Moon Knight, I've been killing it on the Moon Knight stuff. There I'm, you I'm have. picking there you up have. a lot of stuff. Yeah, dude. Yeah. By the and way, Matt, Matt Woods gave you props in your IG. Like, this is exactly what I said, guys. Moonlit's IG posts are awesome to read. Aww. I feel like I'm taking a class because she puts so much information about the comics. Guys, she's been collecting for seven months. <laughs> Yeah, I, I sometimes I feel like I like I write too much, and I'm like, does, does anybody even like read this? But at the same time, when I see people, other people's posts, and they only put like a hashtag or like two words, I'm like, eh, boring. You know, I I like the information and the history, and so I try to add it when I can. You know, I, you do an incredible job. Like it's it's un, unbelievable. Anyways, we'll Thank get back you, to Jeff. more. Thank you, Matt. Um, yes, it, it, it's yes. literally. <laughs> You, you blow my knowledge away, I feel like, every time I read. I'm like, shit, I didn't know that. That's crazy. Anyways, keep it up, please. Do not stop. Do not ever stop. Thank you. All right. We got Nukes Comics. I picked this copy of Spawn, issue 139, for, or 319, from West our Wild West Comics. It has the McFarlane cover featuring Cygor on the attack. I really, I, guys, I like that cover. I, I, I don't have that book. I didn't know about that book, but I really do like that cover. All right. Um... Into Oblivion tricked me here because I thought this was not the reprint, but it is, but it's still cool <laughs> to have. It's, you know, um, yep. it, it reprints the first appearance of Deathstroke, and um, who, who wouldn't want that? Uh, all right, we got good friend of the show, Quentin, a.k.a. Comic Guys, the, my favorite out of all of them. Uh, the Bill Sienkiewicz crushed this cover, uh, Moon Knight Monday. He says, hashtag Moon Knight, number one, one in 100, the hidden gem variant. There are so many cool covers so many cool covers. I'm waiting for mine to be delivered, by the way, from uh, oh, yes. TFAW. So uh, many. I still have one that's running late from um, Frankie's Comics, I think. This one was cool, though, man. It's it's um, They they used the artwork from Bill's portfolio, the Moon Knight portfolio, I think, from the 80s. But then they had somebody else color it for this. See? So, More comic go. knowledge. You are dropping. That's awesome. No, it's it's a gorgeous cover. You do, and based off your post, you do love Bill Sienkiewicz. Uh, yeah, I, I love Sienkiewicz. I love Moon Knights and Kamikaze is awesome. So, yeah, Quentin, he is the man. Quentin, I owe you a video clip too. I still, I will get that to you. Uh this is a first, guys. This is a first. We've never had a submission that's been black and white. Comic Demon oh. Gustave Dore has always been an inspiration to me as an artist, and when I saw the Shazam book on the new wall. I knew it was coming home with me. I mean, that's, that's a wow. nice composition. That's a, that's a beautiful looking shot. Yeah. I have to say that's very unique in the way he's presented everything. And that's what we're talking about with presentation. So is that cover black and white or was just the photo? No, the photo is black and white. I, okay. But the cover, I don't believe like that. The, I wonder if the art itself. Is yeah, I don't, I don't believe it is, but uh, we can do a little research ourselves as well. Yeah, um, I'll check it out. Or someone in the chat can mention that. All right. We got captain Steve Rogers for, Thanks to you and Josh Comics for the fresh from the comic shop hashtag. Uh, 
That's all he said. Oh, sorry. No, he didn't. <laughs> Adding Moon Knight Monday. Need to head out to my local comic shop. Glasgow was when the new Moon Knight dropped. Good start. So this is the the McNiven, I believe, right? Yeah, that's cover A for cover this. A, yeah. yeah. Again, like, they just crushed it. Like, I'm still waiting for mine. I'm, I can't even remember which one I got. It's been so have long. Have you guys read? Did you guys read that issue? No, I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for my copies from. TV. Oh, okay. I just got. I just got mine. I haven't read it. I haven't. I, I haven't had time to read yeah. anything. Yet. I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, it, it's hard to keep up with all this stuff. I didn't really love this. The writing, honestly, the uh, art's I've heard cool. Good things about it. You're the first one I've heard. No, I like it. I liked it. I'm excited to see where it goes, but the writing itself was a little bit basic to me. Okay. Like, I don't know, but yeah. Maybe that's honestly trying to bring in new Moon Knight fans yeah. in a way, knowing well, that they're gonna, they're ramping up to hype him up as a character and then get it, get people into the, you know, his MC introduction into the MCU with the Disney plus. They did a great job that with explaining his backstory with the, uh, the, yeah. like they, they had a, he was talking to a therapist that, that yeah. like the Avengers sent and like Soprano style type of thing. And yeah, it was cool. I mean, we'll see. I'm going to give it a chance. It's moon night, but the covers were all amazing. Oh, insane. That's the balance that they have to, you know, kind of play with all of their characters is getting the main, you know, getting these characters to people who may not uh, normally reach out, but like, Oh, Disney plus is having a moon night show. Let me go check out this new series. Right. Thing, exactly. So. I'm pretty sure that's where that comes from. All right. Yep. Moving on, we got Mark Lenniker. This guy crushes it. I mean, look at this. I finally put my big boy collecting pants on and got pre-code <laughs> horror. Strange Terrors, number Ooh. three from 1952 from St. Horror. John. Features art by Joe Kubert, who is also managing editor and a great painted cover, reminiscent of the pulp magazine covers from the 30s. I always wanted to get I always wanted to start getting these 50s horror comics, so this fulfills a promise I made to myself. Congratulations on that, Mark Lenniker. Uh, congratulations on you always bringing these really unique books uh i don't know anything about the golden age but i do know that that's that's a really cool book to have um that's all right awesome. moving on, we got miguel.g.comics i'll probably never be able to afford the real ones but these mighty marvel reprints of amazing spider-man 1 to 10 and fantastic four number 1 to 10 are very nice not expensive at all and th those are some good pickups to have just to get into the history of those books as well all right uh, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go for it, guys. My first fresh get of the week, and this is what I got. Again, guys, I have not had any time really, but anytime I dig through some bins uh, and I see this book, I, I have to pick it up, especially for 99 cents. It's Batman number 96. It's the first appearance of Clown Hunter. Um, you guys see these? It, it there. James Tinian said there's a lot that will be done with the Clown Hunter. So I would suggest picking this up. This is from Joker War. It, this is a really good run as well. The art is fantastic. The writing is great. So I highly recommend it. And if you can find it for a dollar like I did, pick it up. All right. More pickups from <laughs> Pick Ms. it up. Pick it up. <laughs> that's that's going to be a new one maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. uh, here we go. <laughs> Union Josh Comics. We got. What do we got? We got uh, his submission for Fresh from the Comic Shop. Went to the local comic shop today and picked up this awesome book. The Hor this is Horizon Zero Dawn Liberation Issue 1. The version sketch cover by Peach Momoko. We've all heard of her. Mm -hmm. Horizon Zero Dawn was the first game I played on PS4, and it holds a special place in my heart. So I had to grab this special book when I saw it today. That's a good story. That's a very good story as well. I'm liking that. Uh, I'm liking this name, too. The Comic Criminal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this book is just... Out there. <laughs> what is this? His random purchase of the week, he says. The life of Pope John Paul II, Marvel Comics, 1983. This is such as this is this is as random a comic as I as I as I buy. I had to have it. So yeah. Yes. Good on you, man. Dude, if I <laughs> saw that in a dollar, bill, I would totally. I don't think Marvel would touch that these days. By the way, I don't Ooh. think they'd be like, let's make a comic book about the Pope. That, that uh, gets an all right. Honorable mention for the laughs there. That's fucking awesome. What's that? <laughs> that gets an honorable mention for the laughs. At one hundred percent, and I'm sure that was his intention as well. <laughs> well, I mean, it, sorry if that offends anybody. It's, I guess it's not funny, but <laughs> doesn't offend anyway. anybody here. But it's random. Next. It's all get out. Uh, all right, moving on. We got Thanos wins fresh from the comic shop with this copy of Uncanny Avengers 12. Kang is here. Thanks for the tag. Union Josh comics. Union Josh, you are all over the place. I love that cover. Guys, love it. And it's a playoff of a, um, there's another Kirby cover where he's sitting like that. I cannot remember what it is. 
have not had any time to head into the chat. Hopefully, uh, you guys. Oh are yeah, we got some some awesome people in the chat. I, Shout I, out to to Roger Spidey's. Uh, we got Roscoe in there. I'll let you take it from here. Oh, no, we got but, a lot of awesome people in the chat. Do you want, by the way, g give a shout Ooh. out, Michelle. Yes, Jose, thank you so much. You are awesome. So Jose makes custom uh, tumblers. Beautiful. And he made this one for me. Uh, yeah. It's so cool. Did you it's say so what you cool. wanted or you just gave him your logo and he... No, this isn't even my, I don't really have an official logo except for the one, you know, that's my profile picture. But I, I just told him I wanted a Moonlit Comics and like a Star Wars type of font and a, ah. cres a crescent moon on the back with like matte black and, and stars. And he delivered, dude. I mean, this is this is yeah, amazing. Nice. I, I hear nothing but great things about his products. I mean, yeah, he's somehow. awesome. He does um the custom tumblers. He also can customize like anything else, like knives and uh, all that stuff. Like, yeah. I don't know. Check out his Instagram. Definitely. But any, anyways, guys, this is, uh, oh, that's not him. This is him. Spidey's powder. Yes. Tumblr. I met him at Terrificon too. He came up from Texas. Here's Once we get past the hottest comics, we're going to talk about how Terrificon was for you. I, I, sure. I, I think yeah, it's not yeah. Roger Levesque there. Uh, yeah, dude. Think... Roger's like my, my bestie, man. He was He's the coolest guy that I've ever met, man. Roger he's one of the sweetest people in this community, I have yes. to say. Yes, this um, community is amazing. It's hard like to get him, although we did kick him out too, by the way. He was. Oh, okay. Guy. I don't he feel like, like that. He was then. He felt like we were giving Dan De La Torre an easier time. And that, no, I don't. We kicked Dan <laughs> off. Uh, anyways, moving on. Where are we? I don't even know. Gosh, we're getting. You're, I have to say, you're doing well as his guest. We have a Hall of Famer. We have one Hall of Famer, but we may have another one. Steve from the Nerd Herd was, uh, was, a, was is a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Oh, uh, anyway. of Steve, man. Uh, moving on, moving on. Uh, we got. I'm lost, guys, but I I I'm, I found myself. You've We're been good. Found. Comic Hunter <laughs> seventy three. It's new comic book day, and fresh from the comic shop, Union Josh Comics. This is what I picked up. Not all robots from AWA Studio. Star Trek Year Five from IDW and Stillwater, and te that Texas Blood. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's a nice, uh, nice new comic book day right there. Uh, comic under 73. Uh, we got shadow rat steak one through five guys. I don't know anything about the series. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if you guys do anybody, uh, here feel free in the chat to let us know if it's good, but Hey, shadow rat has it and he's pretty pumped about it. And we are pumped for him. Uh, loving this guy cover junkie comics. This guy loves his oh. Dr. Doom covers. Fresh from the comic shop with the origin of Frankie Ray. First appearance of Aunt Petunia and Jake Grimm. We hear a lot of Aunt Petunia from the thing. Uh, Fantastic Four, 238, 1981. My grail, this, guys, this is his grail run. I love it. My grail run is all the cover appearances of Dr. Doom on Fantastic Four books. I'll probably nice. never have. But honestly, I think that's a great, great goal right there. I am loving, loving that. That all is right, a great goal. And the, pre the presentation was great with all the like the crystals and stuff. I, I love the crystals. <laughs> I yes, love it. I and Doom and his and his uh his goals to collect all the Doom covers on Fantastic Four. Yeah. Way to go, I, cover junkies. <laughs> I'm loving that. But he 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 is a he he's a new collector too, by the way, and he's just completely fixated with Dr. Doom. Uh all right. Moving on. This is a nice presentation. This is reminiscent of a lot. Kamikaze has had a lot of influence on a lot of uh, people recently. I'll tell you that right now. But this right here is Comic Noob. We got, uh, he, as he said, picked up just for the cover. And now I have to go back and pick up the back. It's just because the story is actually good. Damn it, he says. That's what happens. <clears throat> Being a comic book collector, you know it. And guys, this is our boy, Tommy Boy Collections. The winner of last month's Fresh from the Comic Shop. What not submission? <coughs> Excuse me. He won Department of Truth number one. Combining another love, he says. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, that, I, oh yeah, those hats. Yep. Nice. Combining another love. <laughs> New era fitted hats and yeah. <laughs> Static spelled out his spelled out in hats. Look at how creative he is. Dude. Uh, it's number one. Clean and press. <laughs> Going to send it out to CGC to get graded soon. You don't start none. There won't be none. Gosh. I, I, I get down. I, I should. Me and him should show off hat collections because uh, I'm dude. He's got. Massive. He's got. He's yeah. got the, the hat collections. He's got the car collections. He's got the tat collections. He's a graffiti artist. 
you are just a creative he, he dude. He sounds right. like somebody that I, I would love to hang out with. Yeah, man. Honestly, he follow him <laughs> on Instagram, Tommy Boy Collections. You will not be disappointed. I think All right, he Michelle. posted that. He posted that for Chris with the hats. One hundred percent. Actually, he's not eligible <laughs> to win, by the way. But it's a great, 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 great submission. All right, Michelle, what do you got? Second pick. Ooh, okay. Second fresh get. <laughs> All right, so you guys know I love Moon Knight, and you know the prices for the first and the second appearances. So my one of my goals at Terrificon was to find the third appearance of Moon Knight. Show off. And I did. Yes, just yes, yes. Oh, Beautiful wow. cover. Look at that. I love that book. Yeah. And I shout out to uh, Very Gary, because I found this from his booth. Oh, nice. Nice. He yes. was doing really well there. Was it crowded there? Yeah, it was. And so that was actually my very first stop was a very Gary's booth. And I found three out of the five books that I ended up picking up from the convention, including this one. So you said you a great deal. Okay. That Go just ahead. answered my question. You said you found it there, but you didn't say where you bought it from. Oh, I bought it from very Gary. I'm just, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what I did, I went into the convention and I had a list of you know like 10 books that i wanted to find i looked up the pricing and like you know what they were going for with the grades and i don't do slabs so it was all raw stuff so but i had an idea and i had my goal price for each book and i got five five only five books because i'm gonna wait and do more shopping in baltimore but mm -hmm. for terrificon i found five books each for under my goal price awesome. under my total budget so i had extra money for you know <laughs> T-shirts and different, and, and I got some signed books. I, I met Klaus Jansen and Jim Starlin, and wow. I got so for uh, the third appearance of uh, of Moon Knight. I mean, for me, this is great. You know, what I'm I'm saving up for my Werewolf by Night Thirty Two. There you wow. go. Saving. I, up. I gotta That's I gotta I gotta, I gotta say, real quick, uh, Jeff, I might have to, and Michelle, I might have to edit that that little spiel you just gave. And use it in an intro to a video because what you and everyone watching, yeah. what you just said yeah. on how you went, you you went to a con knowing what you were looking for, mm -hmm. having set prices of what you wanted to pay. That is what I'm talking about. Be an educated collector and an educated investor. Make smart decisions. Do your homework. Man, that I just I, I love hearing that because I think so many people need to hear that and there's ways to where if you set yourself up you can succeed you can get what you want on a budget and not you know come out of there like you came out of the las vegas casino with no money oh, left in your pocket dude <laughs> if i went in there without a list or without a plan it, it would have been no go i would have bought everything you know what i right, mean but right, yeah. i was like okay this is my budget this is my list i checked off about half of it but i didn't you know i was only there for one day and i didn't get to the convention on saturday till like 1 30. Mm -hmm. you know so i learned a lot it was my very first convention ever so baltimore i'm doing a three-day pass we're going to do more nice. shopping i'm going to have a bigger budget you know <laughs> it's going to it's going to be great but the five books that i picked up i'm, I'm happy with it under my my gold price and uh yeah so that's a great representation, by the way, of being happy with things. And uh, I would say, honestly, I don't have facts or figures, but I would say 20% of people that go to these conventions probably have a strategy in mind like what you did. You should. So, yeah. I mean, and, yeah. I, I don't think a majority do. I really don't. And you should. Yeah. By the way, World Bubble, Word Bubble Collect, CBC needs to have it locked and lit into a permanent monthly segment. I'll contribute representation <laughs> services to negotiate any contracts needed. She is expensive. I don't know if we're going to be able to afford her. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk backstage. Yeah, I like we'll what talk. Dan said. Michelle geeked responsibly. Yes. <laughs> there yes, you, go. That. you know who said yeah, that. Yeah, I, I guess so. Kind of. It was a crazy weekend, but, you know, at least That's I, good to hear, I did okay with the shopping. And it was a good ex first experience, right, in terms of your uh, oh, yeah. uh, uh, convention go. That's cool. And the For next sure. one, I think, the next one's in your backyard, pretty much. Oh, yeah, like 45 minutes away. And, and awesome. meeting the creators was great. Because in the morning, the lines were like out the door for, for oh. Klaus Jansen. But I went like an hour before the con closed and there was literally no line, which was nuts. Like for Klaus Jansen, I felt so bad for him. There's nobody waiting for him at his table. There's a huge line for some new creator like, you know, next to him. And I'm like the only one. And I'm just I'm stoked to like get up there and talk to him and chat with him and you know, take a picture and have him sign my books. It was, it was dope. So yeah, maybe wait till later 
you know, first thing every that's probably what everybody's doing right away is trying to get their book signed. So. That's that is good advice right there. Again, you are a straight up veteran. I don't care what it, I don't care what you uh, say or anybody else says. You're a straight up veteran. Sorry to keep derailing the, the fresh from the comics. No, honestly, <laughs> you've enhanced fresh from the comic shop. Let's put it that way. All right. <laughs> C to the G, made an amazing trade with a lifelong friend. If you know, you know. There's another, that, there's that second time we've had that expression this week. Uh, NYX number three and for first and second appearance of Laura Kinney, X23. I don't know uh, if she has any MCU life based off of uh, the, the previous Logan film, but who knows? Who knows? I'd like to see her definitely in the MCU. All right. Fister Roboto 94, showing yes. off by Thor 129. Getting ready for Thor, Love and Thunder to introduce the Greek gods. That is right. They are coming. Uh, all right, nerds being geeks. Moon Knight number one. Another. This is our third Moon Knight. I know. Everybody's loving the, the Not mad movie. at this. I'm not mad at this at all. Um, Moon Knight number one, written by Jim McKay, with interior art by Alessandro Capiccio. Uh, cover art by Young and Yoon. A Bird City Comics and Comics with Bueller exclusive. This might be cover of the year contender. Uh, links to Bird City and Comics with Bueller on his YouTube review. Guys, his channel is down below as well. Give him a follow. Um, that's a beautiful cover, though. Uh, we got Miscellaneous Comics, Lady Death, Treacherous Infamy, number one, elite edition cover by Paolo Pantalina. Uh, that's a gorgeous cover. I don't know much about Lady Death. I'll, I'll admit that. I will absolutely admit that. Um, all right, Chris. I know nothing about Lady Death, but that cover is kind of dope. It's a sweet one. <laughs> Chris, your second fresh get of the week. What do you got? All right, man. I like to keep it fresh. You know, I like to keep it fresh. And I kept it do. real fresh this week. Yeah, you do. I don't know if anybody kept the fresher than me with this one. But I had to keep it fresh with some no. Fresh no. What? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Get out of here. If, if, if you ain't fresh with the white, with the white socks, hey, got the got the matching and be. No, I'm just I'm just kidding, y'all. But uh, <laughs> I, I, I do. Oh my god. I, I keep it fresh. Uh, 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 you, you know, in, in all things. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I kept it fresh from uh, my local. Uh, shot A1 Comics, uh, as you can tell, you know, just blatant uh advertising there on their backing board. Uh, before I do the book reveal, I just talked about this book, and it's funny because we often talk about, and you know, I get crap when I do like my investment videos top five this type of books to invest in, whatever people are in the comments are like, All you do is is uh you, you know talk up books so you can flip them and i'm like i don't even own most of them and when i'm done talking with them then i'm like <laughs> going on ebay or going to and buying them myself <laughs> and that's what i did uh this is marvel 2153 this is the origin of quasar if you guys wow. did not check my my video that i released yesterday five books to invest in for quasar because i do believe that quasar is going to come into the MCU um, in some form or fashion. Uh, there's there's a lot there to make that happen. And this is a book, Marvel 2 and 1, 53, that is very, very affordable. Um, you know, I, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if I looked at like my comic shop or anything online, but I think I only got this for like four or five bucks from, uh, from A1, so. You know, nice. if you guys are Quasar fans and, and you didn't didn't know about this book being the origin of the character, there it is. That's yeah. Um, that's interesting for sure. I didn't know anything about Quasar, but I have a one of the Marvel team up annuals that had him in it, and it was the first time I ever saw that character. I was like, who the hell is Quasar? So maybe I need to go find that uh, that two in one. <laughs> He's been around for a yeah. while. And, uh, there's an Incredible Hulk book where he changes his name to Quasar. I cannot remember. Two, his three, name. four. Two, what? three, four. Yeah. Um, oh, but, two, three, uh, four. That book's on fire. That's a good bet. He's going to make his way into the MCU. I could see maybe included in like uh, you know the next Guardians of the Galaxy or what have you. Hopefully with Watlock as well. Uh, yeah, I, just, I, I gotta ask: Is Watlock the mix? 
Is that a mix between Adam Warlock and Matlock, Matt Lock, the, correct. the attorney? It was a typo. Oh, I thought it was just a typo. I was going to say it. Thought- yeah, Matt Stadge, Matt Stadge, I think, was a typo, and it, we're just keeping it. So, Watlock, it is. Uh, <laughs> moving on, though, to some more good stuff from all you fine people. AZ Mailman 211. What do we got? Oh, uh, we got... My submission for this week's Fresh in the Comic Shop is probably my favorite pickup from last week's Vacation Incredible Hulk 49, Where the Wild Things Are, homage cover from 2003. Shout out to Zaps Comics in Wayne, New Jersey. Great shop with tons of back issues. Remember, the best part about going on vacation is not just visiting with friends and family, eating food, or seeing the sights. It's raiding comic book shops after comic book shops after comic book shops. That's a great cover. Gorgeous looking cover. Ah, uh, this is a good this is an interesting one. M Cats 910. Avengers vs. X-Men number seven. Namor declares war on Wakanda. Very timely right now because people are um specking on the fact that Namor could be the protagonist in uh, Black Panther 2. Uh so we shall see if that's the case. This book will become even hotter, but there's a lot of spec behind this book, I would have to say. Uh we got. Next up, Christian7203, working on the Marvel Comics Presents run. There are a lot of Marvel Comics Presents, as, as, you know, as well as The uh, Last Ronin in there. Um, and Amazing uh, Fantasy as well. Those covers are, are just crazy, crazy. Uh, yeah. th- that's a book that came out not this previous week, but the week before. Uh, good friend of the show. We give him a lot of shit, but Dan DeLatore is the man. Oh, Here's Dan the is the man. Out. Iron Man 170, the first appearance of James Rhodes wearing and using the Iron Man armor. 9.6 white pages. That is a great book to have, especially with Armor Wars on its way to Disney+. Plus. Dan, All right, guys, this is my... Dan's just on his in his own level. <laughs> a oh, fresh ho- Dan, him and Azores. <laughs> I was just about to say, Eric is insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. And here's my second fresh get of the week, which is nowhere near touching those books. But come on, I, I couldn't pass this one up either. I couldn't pass this one up. This is where we're world number one, the hip hop variant, Chris. Ooh, hip hop variants are. I mean, oh. come on, like seriously, uh, yeah. Snoop's first album. Dude, that's dope, Jeff. I love, I love this cover. I have no, I mean, you know, this, this spun out, spun out of a, you know, Secret Wars, the second Secret Wars. It's, I. And I wouldn't pick up Weird, Weird World number one on its own, but I had to. Right. Yes, man. It's I gotta, very fitting. I got to look for some of these yeah. hip-hop yeah. covers. That's awesome, yeah. Jeff. Yeah, those hip-hop covers, I just love, absolutely love them. I think All there right. was a Department of Truth one that was um, an Eminem cover. There's so many. There's Bill Sienkiewicz did a, um, a Kid Cudi cover homage. I forget what the actual book was, but there's was just- Was it for Marvel? Um, it may be probably that, yeah okay there, there's a lot of these hip-hop uh, covers out there and but, um yes, I but he up. actually Sinkevich actually did the album cover for that for kid cuddy's actual album and then i think oh, he wow. did the cover for the that's, that's incredible actually. i'm pretty sure that I'm, is i may be wrong but i'm pretty sure because i remember being so like hyped about it when i found it and but it's expensive like on ebay and stuff that's anyway really great to see one of those tonight jeff Dropping more knowledge there. But I would pick up those hip-hop <laughs> covers if you guys see those around. Yes. Because uh, I think they're going to become – also the, uh, the the action figure variants as well. I really think people – they're going to become those like a subgenre. Cool uh, I would, And if you're interested in picking up collectibles like that, I would highly recommend those. Um, all right, we got Caution Comics up next with uh, what he says has got this uh, something skill in children, one per store variant. That's Virgin and also the origin of Eric Erica Slaughter. Also was fun to pair with my Something is Killing the Children issue number uh, one-fourth print. Uh, both, I mean, there are so many amazing covers with Something is Killing the Children and Department of Truth. It's hard to keep up. Although I think after number 16, they're not going to be doing uh, all of these variants. But uh, there's a lot to keep up with. Yeah, I think right, they, they got... stopped doing that. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's just a ton. Uh, Brayman's Books finally made it to my first Comic-Con ever. Terrific con. Um, he was there with you, Michelle. I don't know if you know him, but uh, even oh. with a small budget, I found some fresh gets. Those are, I mean, nice. X-Men number six is fire. I see a Watlock in there. I see an X-Men number four that we are giving away for this month's Fresh from the Comic Shop. 
what else do I see there? Uh, nice. I don't think we met at Terrificon, but that's that's a nice little hall. That is a great hall right there. There's a lot of yeah. hot books from that that hall. So good on you, Brayman's books. All right, Michelle, your third and final fresh get of the week. What do you got yes. for us? Yes. <laughs> Hold on. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what about your second? Wait, he just did. Didn't he just, just do his my third? Th second? Yeah. Yeah. Where was I? Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> See, I am running on. I, I, must, I told you it's been a rough week for the two of us. Okay, so yeah. just try and keep up with us because we are not all there. Oh Michelle my goodness! Down. <laughs> oh God. Your third it's and fresh okay. get oh, of the week. It's hard to keep track with all the the submissions in between. It, so it, it really like, is oh. actually. But thank you for looking out, Chris. I appreciate that. Michelle, <laughs> what do you got? Okay, so apparently third appearances were my like for my thing at <laughs> Terrificon because, and I I told you guys earlier, I had Tomb of Dracula 1 and I really, really love this series. So this was like the number two book on my list to find. Ah. Tomb of Dracula 13. So it's the third appearance of Blade and his origin. Yeah. Look at you, I mean. <laughs> I was, and dude, I got this for such a great deal. It was like half of, of my gold price. And I was so, so excited. And it's in decent shape too. Like, uh, it's just for the PC, but like, man, I was happy about this. That's a, yeah, that's a great pick, pick up, especially with, I mean, Blades come with the MCU too. That's a fact, right? And uh, mm -hmm. I do have to yep. ask you. You're, it seems like you're into like the supernatural kind of horror stuff as well. Is there yeah. is there something behind that? Not really. I mean, you know, I told you guys earlier, I started with Star Wars and I mean, Star Wars is amazing and stuff, but like I wanted to find my own uh, kind of my own things to hunt for and collect. So I started with with Ghost Rider and Moon Knight and then Werewolf by Night and Tomb of Dracula. And, you know, I just I love all that stuff. I have some Spider-Man and X-Men and, you know, like a, a lot of things like that, but mostly the Marvel horror and Swamp Thing. I freaking love Swamp Thing and some DC stuff like that. Spectre. Um, I think I, I'm just into the horror stuff, you know, that's the horror cool. stuff and like the vigilante characters. And because that's that's going to be coming up next. That's I think Moon Knight's going to be like the doorway into that in a way. Uh, yeah, Teresa's that and Doctor Strange probably too. Yeah, movie. actually, uh, Doctor Strange is definitely going to be the next one. You're right about that. 360 Comics brings up a good point. Blade is what's up, dude. Saved Marvel Comics in the late '90s and and uh and gave us the possibility of the mcu that's a fact i mean that's a fact because marvel was they were in bad financial shape in the late 90s to the point where they were just almost done so we have a lot to be thankful for with blade uh by the way what's it what, what's that mug <laughs> only the best mug that i own <laughs> ah, <fuck. laughs> Props. Yes, uh, yes. Gonna, this is I, I need it i need to get a t-shirt but for now I rock the the coffee mug and I have stickers on my short boxes. That's, that's, awesome. that's what I do. I decorate all my short boxes with <laughs> stickers like from the community and stuff. I just want to mention two things. Oh, a lightning bug so. just landed on my computer and Levesque has it right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like I said, it all snowballed, man. And it, it's just, it's been such a fun journey. Listen, we're glad it did because here you are and you are an amazing person person amazing uh part of this community and we're very grateful for that um all right next up who do we got we uh we got karkham us uh fantastic four volume one numbers 193 and 199 first dr doom clone and the death of dr doom clone uh these are just classic books Sweet. i mean yeah i i i just picked up the first john byrne on Fantastic Four, I'd love me some John Byrne. So uh, this falls along the lines of that as well. And I'm loving the Doom stuff tonight. What's that? I'm loving the Doom stuff. Absolutely. Tonight. Who? I can't wait to see him in the MCU. That's just gonna be. Oh my god! Yes. Inspiring. He's gonna just crush it. That character. People are gonna be like, "This dude is fucking loco." All right. Uh, before we get into our last fresh get of the week from our audience members, Chris, what uh, is your your last fresh get of the week. All right. Don't I show think... us t-shirts or socks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm, 
I'm looking around for, for something but to play with you guys, but that's it. I say the best for last. I say the absolute best for last. Um, Jeff, you know, I just... No, here we go. I, what do you got? What do you got, Chris? What do you got? I, 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 uh, I, I don't know. This might be the greatest, my greatest pickup on Fresh from the Comic Shop. And there's been some good ones. I mean, I just had Beta Ray Bill's first appearance. Yeah. Was that last week. So yeah. this is a good one. It is near mint grade. Warlock of the yeah. Infinity Watch. I knew one. it. I knew it. <laughs> New scare. New scare. Everybody. New <laughs> scare. <laughs> oh, you brought out the horn. <laughs> Don't be mad. Uh, Don't be mad. <laughs> awesome. Hey, I I want to say <laughs> congratulations because now it's like it's like when Jimi Hendrix went on before. I cannot remember who he went on before. Uh, is it Woodstock? At Woodstock, at Woodstock. Yeah, who was it? They were pissed. It was the Who, maybe or somebody. They were fucking pissed. Um, but <laughs> that's kind of like this because it's this is just like now I got to show you Zora's <laughs> Tigers fresh cat. It's not going to live up to anything close to what you just showed us. Man, the who the who is no. awesome too. Oh, Jeff. I fucking love the who. John Bottom. <laughs> what is that? Um, John Bottom. Oh good. man, Azora. Hold on, what's that? Number three. Nine. Nine. Yeah, but you overshadowed that with your warlock. That ain't got nothing. No, 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 no. That's what I'm You destroyed him with that warlock number one. Destroyed. Uh, Eric says, I'm going with X-Men number nine, first meeting of the Avengers and X-Men, first battle of the Avengers and X-Men, first appearance of Lucifer, a member of the Quist alien race. So happy to have this addition to the PC. It's very much nah compared to yours, Chris. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Right. Of course, it didn't really bring his, his A game this week. I don't know about that. Yeah. John, <laughs> I need to clarify something. Uh, John Bottom is the drummer of Led Zeppelin. Keith Moon, drummer of The Who. I prefer The Who. I love Led Zeppelin too, but anyways. Yeah. Uh, I just want to clarify that because I'm a drummer. It's embarrassing what I just said. But yeah, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Eric. Uh, yeah, Chris just destroyed you with that wet lock number one. And guys, I mean. Who, who did the cover on that? Do you know? On this, that's got to be Kirby, right? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's got to be Kirby. From what, like six? I gotta look it up. Probably like oh, 67, nine, 60, 60, yeah. 66, 67. Yep. Um, all right, guys. My last fresh get, uh, uh, Michelle. You have a responsibility, so we're hoping you're ready. Uh, it, yeah, dude, this is gonna be tough. It always is. Uh. <laughs> but let me get to my last fresh get of the week, guys. I pulled the trigger on this. Um, I, uh, I, I was like, oh, this sounds like a great series, really cool series. And then I, I waited for the first four printings of number one to go by. And I just finally got this one. Stray Dogs, number one. But this is the uh, Dracula variant. Dig it. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this. But this, is, this got hot for a, a, a minute. It may still remain hot. Who knows? But this is the fifth printing. So that was fun. Local comic shop hooked me up. That is right there, guys. That ends our submissions for Fresh from the Comic Shop. Michelle, <laughs> you have uh, it's time. Is it time? Like right now? Like I gotta. Yep. Listen, here's the deal. <laughs> all right, we, should, all right. we can play the Jeopardy music. No. We don't <laughs> have the right. We're not, we, don't, we can't afford that. <laughs> right now, <laughs> I'm stating that as fact. So, all right, Michelle, what do you got? So. Like you were saying in the beginning, we have the criteria. It has to be something unique. The presentation matters and the story behind it matters. The story in terms of like what it means to that person. Yeah, what it means to that person, right. No, no, yeah. I'm just clarifying that, making sure everybody understands that. Yeah, not the story of, of the, exactly. the yep. comic. Yeah. So, okay. Dan and Azores always freaking kill it. Yeah, it's all Like there. I said earlier, they're like on, on a separate level. <laughs> from, yep. from everyone you yeah. know like absolutely fire books every week so i'm sure if i don't pick them tonight they'll they'll you know they'll have a chance next week yeah um so i like my, the three that i liked the best were was the uh, the strange terrors the pre-code horror mm -hmm. that was really mark cool. lineker yeah Can yeah that, that's awesome that? i love right that here? stuff okay okay super cool um 
And then we had Sicilian Comics with the three issues of Fantastic Four. I forget what issue. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta. And they gotta change their um their interface here, and it's messed me up. But here's Sicilian. Yep, he's got the Atuma first appearance of Atuma. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, and then and then we had a cover junkie with the Doctor Doom cover with with the crystals, and he said he was he you know he was working on collecting every what did he say again? He every say again? every Doom cover, every Doctor Doom cover. And I don't think I've seen this cover before. No, nah, I haven't either. And I love Dr. Doom and I love crystals and I think it's cool. So, you know, uh, <laughs> damn, man. <laughs> you accepted, uh, you accepted uh, to be a guest co-host and Kyle Lucan <laughs> knowing the responsibilities. Oh, man. I, the pre-code horror, I, I feel like the presentation could have been a little bit better with the photo. Fair, fair. Did Sicilian Comics say anything about those books? Um, let me get back to you. That's, see, that's important. It is important. Yep. I just because yep. any of those three could have could have taken the cake, but you know, if you if he you did. have the he whole package, statue guarding my new high grade copy of Fantastic Four thirty three just added to my PC. And I I do like the figure, the figure mm -hmm. with it. Hmm. All right. Jeff, Chris, okay. It's either the Fantastic Four or, or, or the Doctor Doom with the crystals. Okay, now. Oh, <laughs> Grover, Grover? Grover can help you pick comic book? Hmm? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, Grover, Grover is superhero and Grover no like super villain? So I don't like Doctor Doom? Mm -hmm. No. All right, yeah, yeah but, man, guys, because at the uh, pre-code horror, though, you don't you don't find that, you don't find that anywhere, you know. What I mean? Here's the thing: Mark Lenniker has uh, won previously as well. Okay, so you know that that kind of factors in. All right, Mark, uh, <laughs> Mark, you clearly and have great Williams taste. Thomas has won previously as well. Oh, that doesn't <laughs> okay. So it helps you out right now because no, it oh yeah, because Sicilian comics was with the Vandas for all right. Doctor Doom crystal ah! presentation. We got the nice the nice story. He's trying to fill this Doctor Doom cover run and something I haven't seen before. And yeah, man, there you cover go. Cover Junkie Comics is our semi finalist of first semi finalist of August. Uh, he will go up against next week's winner to make it to the finals. Uh, Michelle, you did a great yes. job. It's not easy. It's a lot it's of pressure, not easy. but that's uh, a cool cover, a man. a job in that right there. Ends fresh from the comic shop. But before we end it, Chris, let's let them know how they can enter next week. Oh man, good job, good job. By the way, yes. Michelle, I, I really love, I love that setup, and I love the the crystals too. And uh, cover junkies, congrats for being a, a semifinalist. All right, folks. Once again, link below. Click that link to the whatnot app. Download the WhatNot app. It's really easy to set up. Once you're there and you're in the app, find us at Combo Book Cannon. Give us a follow. Once you do that, then you do the normal stuff that you do on Instagram. You take a picture of your fresh get, post it on Instagram, leave the hashtag FFTCS, and tag us there as well at Comic Book Cannon. You submit it each week. We pick the semifinal four semifinalists. Two will go head to head. The other two will go to head, head, head to head. Then we'll have the two to pick the finalists from there. That is a fact. Well done, Chris. And one, one final reminder from this episode, you can win a 9.6 X-Men number four, courtesy of what not. Again, that there ends fresh from the comic shop.